that's on a Christmas light timer. So come 10 p.m., that thing turns off. And then it's a good it, idea to put on that, a Christmas that, timer. So we're not naturally shielded from these um, things that we've created in the modern world that are now surrounding, surrounding us. So, you know, that said, you know, practical steps, practical steps that one can do, and I have done myself uh, in my home. Um, when I have my cell phone on, I put it in my pocket, it's on airplane mode, period. I don't want that super close to me. Use the inverse square law to your advantage right? Because, because the further away these things are from your physical body by a, by a, by, by a square, it is getting less and less intense to you. Also a little nerdy, but I don't care. My Wi-Fi router. Yes, I have a Wi-Fi router at my house, but it's on a Christmas light timer. So come 10 PM, that thing turns off. And then it's a good it, idea to put on then, Christmas then, timer. That's, exactly. And yeah. then it turns on at, it's at six o'clock in the morning. So I do have access to it, but I do use uh, plugins, uh, wired when, when necessary. And I just try to limit the, limit the amount of exposure for myself and my family. Because when you start looking into how other countries are starting to classify EMF, all the, the scientific research that's been done, um, it, it tells a different story than just looking at the thermal effects. And I would, I would point you or point your listeners to, you know, specialists on this, a guy named Nick Penalt, uh, P I N E A U L T. I think he's written a great book called a non tinfoil hats guide to EMF that I would highly recommend. That's perfect, man. You know, it's interesting when I spend a fair bit over the last couple of years, spend a fair bit of time in Switzerland. And when I get to Switzerland, it's, I can't describe the sense of calm that is there. So I accept that, but I was like, there's something just energetic here. There's something different. So I just looked into it really quick. Like Switzerland is on the forefront of like keeping EMF levels low. It's something that they like, they, they make sure that uh, EMF is particularly low in school zones and like, and schools aren't built under uh, telephone, uh, telephone wires. And I'm like, oh, okay. They give a crap like they and that's one of the reasons so it's like when you look and then you look switzerland's not part of the eu but when you look at the eu it's like uh you can see they have a map of the countries that have like the regulations on where the um where their emf can be and like italy is one of the best too and you feel similar in italy even in 